SSD tutorial. I'm Zero Elite, and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in today's episode. If you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button helping me and supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And of course, don't forget to join the Discord channel. I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, but anyway, we're just going to be hopping right into it because today's episode, we got kind of a long one, 38 minutes. And we're going to be focusing on the sh primary shuttle bay of the Enterprise D, trying to wrap this thing up and getting as much done as we possibly can. Uh, so without further ado, let's just get right into this thing. So today's episode, we're going to be focusing on our center core here, uh, trying to wrap that up, or not necessarily wrap it up, but flesh it out. This is the one area of the shuttle bay that we really haven't uh, worked on all that much lately, since we started this out. And today, that's going to change. So what we're going to be first off starting with is our turbo lift that goes up into the bridge. We're going to be moving this down by one block, so this way it matches the deck on our shuttle bay. Now, you can say I started deleting that inner wall there, but don't delete that because now I'm having second thoughts. Because basically, what I'm where I'm at now is that the inner wall is a lot prettier than the outer wall, and the reason for that is because the inner wall is based off of a pixel circle generator oval, whereas the outer wall I just winged it and it didn't really come out the way I wanted it to. So what we're going to be doing right now is deleting the extra fat from the outer wall. So we want to make sure that we're not deleting any of our original wall here. Really just want to focus on the outer wall. What's also going to happen when we do this is that this is also this is going to free up a ton of room now and make this area just look a lot more spacious than it currently is. Because this dead center here that we have, um, it really doesn't need to be that big. It only needs to convey and, and really do three things. We need the, the primary reason of it is the hub to go into other uh, sections of the ship, up into the bridge, and then down into the lower sections. Um, secondary uh, purpose is for the control room for the shuttle bay, and then the uh, tertiary, the third, uh, would be the uh, facade for the uh, cargo uh, uh, turbo lift. Now, when we go in, uh, side of this and start working on the center. I'll show you what I mean. So the cargo turbo lift is just going to be a facade and that's really it. it just comes down to that we just don't have enough room on our ship to build it out to where uh, this cargo uh, turbo lift goes down to other decks. If I had made the ship bigger I probably would have maybe had enough room to pull it off but sometimes you just got to sacrifice and make it work. But I think that um, it's at least important to show the facade for it so that you can at least say that it's there. Uh, even if it's not necessarily a functioning area, even even with that said, like it's not like we could make it functioning um, because even our turbo lifts, um, they're, they're nothing special. We've just got a staircase going in them. Um, So you can see on the edges on the side here, um, we're just going to be cutting off that last cut line here. The reason I'm doing that is because this is going to be our entryway point. The rest of this, the oval, we're going to leave that intact. Yeah, as you can see, as you look down there, we really were out of room because that's our mall that goes around the aquarium. 
then directly above it is the bridge. So we've, we've got a little bit of work to do to, to clean up that area. We're going to have to use some half slabs in the ceiling there uh, to cover up the flooring for the bridge, and then we'll have to do the flooring as well. going to close that in. Then we need to get some lighting in here in the floor because it's just a little bit dark. reminiscence or uh, leftovers basically of our uh, X access points from way earlier in the build so we're gonna be getting rid of that on the outside that doesn't look too bad that's you know it, it looks a lot better now it's not done but that frees up a heck of a lot of space now and right now I'm just trying to figure out what the next move is going to be but the easiest solution here is just to go with half slabs for the roof the reason I'm using half slabs instead of a full block is just simply so that we have just a little bit more headroom than what we would have if we were using um, full blocks. My cat jumped on my desk. I want to make sure she didn't stop the recording. Okay, we're still in good shape. So we're not doing anything fancy here. We're literally just going to be filling in the center of this. Basically the gap. You don't want to be going on the outside of our oval. We're going to stop right when you get to that point. Don't necessarily worry about the uh, turbo lift right now. We'll address that. What we are going to do um, is clean up this area here because to the left, that's where the control room is going to be. And we're just going to build a wall because this area will kind of be closed in. We'll make a cut point for where uh, the entryway point is going to come into it. But we, we're at the point we kind of need to figure that out. That block needs to be there. Okay. I'm gonna make a little bit of a door 
doorway. Sorry, our room's some slowly but surely starting to, to take shape. looking better now we got a roof in place now we need to focus on the floor thing to do here is to identify our entryway point we can do that with the white terracotta and this will work because we use this as trimming for the entire interior of the ship this is where I talk about bring those design cues with you room to room so this way you can have that nice transition point to where it feels like you're walking through one cohesive ship rather than opposed to walking through a bunch of random rooms or randomly designed rooms, I should say. doing here on the outer wall um, or par parking area is essentially going to be is I'm fixing the pattern here so it goes exact with what we have this is one of the things that you that I talk about too that if you go with your cut line and keep your patterns consistent so we're going at a half slab arch you keep that going um, really can't make a mistake too much. In fact, if you pay attention to your patterns, um, you stay consistent with it, you really won't be able to make any mistakes at all. Now it's starting to look how it should look on the back wall here. And because I'm not confident that the pattern is going to match up here, I started on the outside and I'm working my way in. And look at that, that's actually perfect. So we can continue our ribbing pattern going along the back wall here.
I'm going to need to get some more sea lanterns down the floor here, light up this back area. Just a little bit. There, that looks pretty good. Don't really need a ton of lights in the back there, just a little bit, just to brighten it up just a little bit more than what we had. What I'm basically doing right now is I'm counting out my center. I'm going to bring this straight across. Because remember, we're going to be building out a facade for a car cargo lift, uh, a cargo turbo lift. Okay, so we've got our dead center identified. Now we can build out an oval. You're probably asking, why am I not using the oval that's directly below us? Because it's off-centered with this room. Now, when you're working with a oval or circle this small, you can get away with winging it if you've done enough of these pixel circle generator circles. Um, once, and I, I talk about this too, once you start getting to a point where you start getting a little bit bigger than this, I really wouldn't recommend too much trying to wing one of these because no matter what, which way you slice it, it's going to come out funky. But this size, we can completely get away with it. We really don't... Um, need to go in and uh, hit up the pixel circle generator for that. We're just going to do blue on the center, and then the outsides here, I think we might end up doing um, gray. But what we need to do on the corners here is fill that in with some sea lanterns to brighten up this room just a little bit, because it's going to get a little bit darker when we close in the rest of this floor. We're just going to do a yellow outline going around their gray oval. We're going to do this in a way that there's at least, <coughs> excuse me, at least there's a one block gap in between them. That's looking pretty good. We can start to fill in some of the flooring here. Doesn't look too bad.
flooring, we're not going to be doing anything super fancy. We're just going to be filling that in with the white concrete. definitely starting to come together. We've got a little bit more work to do. We still have about 18 minutes left, so we have a little bit more time to, to get done as much as we can today. We'll be able to focus some time on the control room, and um, I'm trying to remember if um, today's episode wraps it up, or if I end up coming back to it one more time. But I do know after today's episode... There's really not much more that we have to do to this room. We're pretty much going to be done with like maybe one or two like minor tweaks to it. But nonetheless, very cool because now this huge gaping hole that we've had in the center of our ship that's just been sitting here during the course of this whole build, finally getting to a point now where we can close it up. I think we're gonna make like a window going along here. I think that'll look pretty good. See, I kind of messed up that wall there because with that block being there, we're gonna have to move that over at least by one. And we'll just fill that in. It's this way you'd never know. The same thing on this side, we'll just fill it in. I'm not sure that block that is deleted, if I needed to delete that or not, I might actually need to add that back. Definitely need to add it back. We're going to have to move that over one more time. We're just going to do the same thing again, fill it in. <coughs> that looks pretty good. in the front here. I'm going to pop on the outside and see how that looks real quick before I do anything else. I know that there is a gap right there. And I messed up. Let's fix that. There we go. place the front here with regular blocks 
upside down stairs just to give it something that's a little bit more. We can maybe do that same thing that we did in the other room on the underside now. Maybe do the same thing over here, even. Now that we did that, we're going to have to mess with that corner there a little bit just to make that blend a little bit more than where it's currently at. But I definitely like the way that looks with the stairs. Gives it just a little bit more shape than what it had before. See, what I'm trying on this side is I'm just kind of trying to move my template, just make it a little bit wider on the sides to see if that will work. And I think that looks a little bit better than what I had, so we're going to do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> I decided that I'm going to go back to what I had. To be honest with you, either way didn't look bad. What's messing me up now is that I've got an additional block right there. slab underneath it would look good. There we go, that looks pretty good. <sighs> yeah, we're right about the point where this area is done. We're pretty much caught up with what the screenshot is. We're not doing too bad either. We still have about 10 minutes worth of work to do in today's episode. So what we're going to do now is delete the bottom part of the stairs in the front here and get some lighting underneath. Just to brighten it up just a little bit more than what we had.
<coughs> we're gonna do the same thing underneath now on the sides with the side consoles. Let's give it a little bit more lighting, that looks great. thing now is that at this point our shape is pretty much done now we're just looking at minor tweaks and changes just to get it where we want it to be before we can move on to other areas but you know this is this is how the shuttle bay is going to be you pretty much call this thing done so if you've been with me this whole time you know pat yourself on the back this has been just i mean the enterprise d has pretty much just turned into a mega build of all these big builds inside of it kind of just you know together in one ginormous build the craziest thing is we're not even done with it we still have you know as you can see our minor detailing to do we actually still have to complete our turbo lift um, on this deck but once that's done we'll pretty much we won't really have that much else to do we also have to build out the uh the consoles and whatnot for the uh, primary control room <coughs> but we're looking pretty good Yeah, see, I think right here I was thinking about maybe uh, stretching out our uh, <clears throat> shuttle bay in the back, maybe adding one more bay area, but that the space back there was very tight, and um, I just decided, like, you know, I'm pretty happy with the space I have to work with. I think we're just going to call it a day at that. I'm not gonna lie, <clears throat> on this room I'm not quite sure how I feel about the half slabs going along the, the ceiling here. Because then the other problem that we're gonna have is that when we go across this side here, it's gonna cut off the glass. And if we don't have it there, then the room might kind of be off a little bit if that's the only wall that doesn't have it. So I think for that reason, we either might just have it going along the back wall here, or just might take it off. I think I'm just going to take it off, because I think what, what, what I had before was working pretty well. Um, most cases, you can get away with doing the half slabs here to get a nice, you know, almost like a slant out of your roof to make it look just a little bit nicer than a square. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely think in this case, the room that we had to work with, just a flat roof is the way that we're going to go. Because I want that window there, and we can't move it down anymore, and uh, that's just kind of going to be the way it is. You either have to choose between the window or this half slab, and I think I'm going with the window.
That's looking pretty good. The only thing that I don't like about this this particular turbo lift is that the the staircase should be going along the back wall here rather than to the side. But that is something that we are gonna fix. It just won't be in today's episode. I actually just did that recently because I was looking at it and I was like, man, I can't believe I did that. I should have had that in the middle. Um, but the main reason I changed that is because I wanted to stay consistent. That if you uh, build something out one way on your ship, <clears throat> unless you don't really care, uh, but if you're somebody like me that does want things to be consistent from beginning to end, uh, then you do care, so you want to make sure that everything matches up. really hard to kind of open up this entryway point but everything that I'm doing here with the ceiling it's just really kind of not working I should just kind of have the half slab to go right up to the edge of it and just call it a day See, that's why you look at the other rooms that you did in the past, because just to kind of get a quick refresher to keep everything consistent, I have my doorways just one block too high. So I need to come back and fix that, so this way everything matches up. We're looking pretty good. I think that's going to wrap us up today. We got a decent amount of work done today. We can pretty much call the shuttle bay completed. Uh, but there will be one or two minor tweaks that we'll make to it going forward. But at this point, um, the main work is pretty much done. But yeah, you know, I think that's going to wrap us up. And I just want to thank everybody again for tuning in today's episode. And if you did enjoy this content, please help me out. Hit that like and subscribe button and help me in supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And, uh, New subscribers, don't forget to hit notifications on so you always get notified when those new videos drop. And speaking of new videos, you can always catch my new Minecraft episodes dropping Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And of course, don't be don't forget to join the Discord channel. I'll have a link in the description below. If you have any questions regarding today's episode or uh, uh, just dropping by to say hey or any builds you want to see, be sure to uh, drop a comment below or comment in Discord. And... Um, yeah, I think that's going to do it today. I just want to thank everybody again for tuning in today's episode. I hope you